Thank you for um, thank you for being here tonight. We have already begun our meeting and executive session um, at 5:30, uh, where we convene to discuss the appointment uh, or employment of a particular individual and to discuss collective negotiations pursuant to Civil Service Law Article 14. Um, we do expect to return to executive session after our public meeting as well. Um, and Trustee John Headland is not here with us this evening. Um, the next Board of Education meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, April 19th, that is after spring break. Um, and our workshop topic will be the campus master planning update and the athletics detail report. Uh, I'd also like to remind everyone that uh, the Board of Education trustee um, candidate petitions are available. Um, you can get a packet from Ms. Platt at cplatt at haldaneschool.org or stop into the district office to pick one up. Um, if anybody's interested in running for school board, you have um, all of us here are, are very uh, ready, willing, and able to share our experience with you. And uh, we encourage you to reach out if you'd like more information about what we do. Um, and with that, I will turn it over to Dr. Benante for his update. Just two quick updates and good evening again to the members of our board. We've already seen each other, the members of our community who may be watching at home. Uh, one is just an important uh, district item. I wanted to make sure that the community was aware and obviously the board is that we're in the process of uh, searching for our next director of pupil personnel services. Uh, that process continues to move along um, uh, quite readily and uh, thanks to um, Mr. Elder, our Director of Human Resources and Curriculum, who's been facilitating the process. Uh, we started with screenings of about 15 individuals. Uh, we just uh, facilitated interviews with uh, eight individuals who were invited to come back, uh, narrowed that group down uh, to three, and we're working now uh, to identify a finalist for the position. So uh, thank you to the board for your attention uh, to that. And also I look forward to having an update for our community in the coming uh, days and or weeks. So uh, that continues to move along. And I know I have a, a budget presentation. Uh, Ann and I have a budget presentation uh, this evening, but I just wanted to make a quick plug for tomorrow night's uh, elementary school performance of Annie. Uh, which will be, I believe, at 7 o'clock. I may have that time wrong. I thought it was 6 o'clock. Is it 6? Ooh, I was going to check my phone, but I didn't want to be checking my phone at the table. 6 o'clock. Uh, uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, yeah. So please, uh, it's about an hour-long performance. Uh, so um, we really look forward to seeing our kids perform. And it's another uh, great opportunity to bring our kids together, uh, something that uh, we haven't had the opportunity to do in the last two years, as I know the community is well aware of. So... Uh, live uh, performance back at Haldane tomorrow night. I will now transition to a budget presentation. Catherine, thank you. And I'm just gonna scoot to the side a little bit and I think Anne is gonna join me up at the, come up to the microphone here in case there's any questions that I can't answer from the board. Uh, and I'm going to go through a few items. And uh, Catherine, are you gonna advance slides for me? Anne's gonna advance slides for me. You can do it from there, right Anne? Thank you, Anne. Uh, so just a quick note that this is the time of the year where the state ideally has finalized its budget and that is yet to happen. So we do expect that in the coming days, uh, the state will finalize its budget. That being said, there's no indication that school aid will be impacted. There's years that we've gone into where uh, we're concerned about what the final state aid runs are going to be. This was not a facet through uh, either the governor's ex executive budget proposal or the respective house um, uh, budgets uh, that was really a matter of contention. So uh, we feel good that the figures we're going to present tonight uh, in terms of state aid are firm and will not be impacted in these next few days. As we look at a summary of our revenue, uh, there's just a few things in uh, uh, the successive slides here that I just want to call out, uh, and I'm paying attention to where there is a significant increase or decrease from what was budgeted in the previous year. 
uh, to what we are budgeting or proposing in the 22-23 budget. So I'm not going to speak to everything uh, for uh, expediency. I think we've, we've drilled down into some of these in previous budget presentations, but I am just to highlight areas of significant uh, shift. So you can see when it comes to our revenue on the last line under reserves, uh, a, a decrease uh, in the reserves that we're applying to the budget. Uh, we have used the retirement reserve in previous years, and we're still in, uh, planning to do so using retirement reserve funds to offset our uh, deficit in, um, and to use it as revenue in the development of uh, next year's budget. Uh, and again, this is um, uh, indicated here. We're just not doing it to the extent that we did in the previous school year. Uh, so that's the last line that you'll see here in the uh, decrease of $160,000. And if you can transition to the admin component. So there's a few items here that I just wanted to um, uh, speak to. And again, I know there's projected spending column. Uh, again, I, I'd ask that you just examine the budget in 21-22 to the proposed budget for 22-23. Our projected expenditures for the current year are, are in between. Uh, if we look at the uh, finance line, third line down, we'll see a, a more significant increase. Uh, we added an accountant position, as you're aware. Uh, that's, uh, that change is reflected on that line. On the next line under staff, uh, again, a significant uh, increase there. Uh, that can be attributed to the personnel specialist position that we created uh, under human resources. And then under administration, uh, our professional development costs or what we're uh, planning to spend on professional development next year is included in this line. Uh, so you won't, some folks look for that under instruction, it's actually under administration. So when we talk about uh, the monies we're directing towards literacy work at the elementary school next year, it's included in that. Uh, master scheduling as well, it's included in that line. Uh, and that's what uh, can be attributed to the increase there on the administration line. Our anticipated spending under capital uh, is relatively stable. So there's nothing on this overview that I plan to highlight for the board unless you have any questions. And there was one other line I wanted to highlight under program. The fourth line down under instructional media. I see quite a significant increase between 21, 22 and what we're proposing for the upcoming school year. Uh, we spoke or included in my budget recommendation was uh, a rethinking around audiovisual and tech support. Uh, that's included here. We're also refurbishing our Mac lab uh, in the side of the library. So uh, the, that, uh, those computers have become outdated. We're going to replace those computers. Uh, the lighting console that I spoke to is included on this line. And um, also other device replacements, our cycle for replacing certain devices on campus, those costs are increasing slightly. It's not a significant uh, factor uh, on that line as compared to the AV or tech support, but that's also included there. And we'll transition to our component summary overview. And as the board's aware, as we look at our budget levy comparison on the next slide, uh, with the increase in state aid, our budget to budget increase is, is going to be higher. Uh, our levy limit for this upcoming year is 3.67%, which is reflected in the light blue bar. Now also included in the um, uh, budget vote will be a vehicle purchase proposition. We are planning to replace one bus, one large bus, and also two minivans. And as most are familiar with, the financing of, of these are uh, budget neutral. Uh, we have debt dropping off and we're bringing uh, on uh, debt in an equal amount to the debt that we're paying off. The tax impact depending on the valuation or market value of your home, is outlined here. Uh, this is just a chart we provide the community for reference to get a better understanding of what the actual dollar increase 
uh, in terms of their taxes they can anticipate with a tax levy increase of 3.67%. With that, we'll pause for any additional questions that the board may have regarding our anticipated revenues and the tax levy projection. I thought your conversations have been so dull, I'm sorry, but there's, which is so good. It's been a pretty smooth budget season. I say to the board, enjoy the years that are smooth. Yeah, enough, really. Because you know not every year is like this. No, <laughs> no. Um, it's looking great. Okay. Thank you. In terms of our budget calendar, the next budget, I believe, Anne, is where we would put the, the board would formally adopt the budget to present to the community. So we'll have an additional presentation or some slides to point to with a bit of a narrative attached to that presentation uh, for the board's consideration. But we still remain within this window that if the board had uh, questions or any further direction you wanted to provide to the administration in budget development, uh, please be sure to do so, um, especially with uh, an extended school recess coming up. And, uh, but no, we feel good uh, in our initial budget meetings with some of our partner organizations that uh, there's been several indicators of support for the recommended budget. And hopefully that will continue through the adopted budget and then the budget vote. Can we see a version of the budget um, like line by line? I think we present that at our next, uh, at our next budget meeting, correct, Dan? Then we'll have that just in case there are any changes. You don't want to have uh, more than one version out there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay. you. I think we're good. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Is there any communication from the public at this time? No. Uh, the information reports are here for review. Going into consent agenda minutes, may I have a motion, please? So moved. These are the minutes from our March 15th, 2022 workshop meeting. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, committee minutes, our policy committee minutes are here for review. Uh, consent agenda financial. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion? If I may, Jen, I wanted to speak to item 11, which is the acceptance of the campus master plan proposal. Uh, first, my thanks to uh, a subgroup of the campus master planning committee, which was comprised of two of our board members, uh, who are also parents, but parents uh, within the community, um, other uh, folks who are in respective leadership positions within the community who came together to review uh, and meet uh, and interview uh, three different uh, architecture and engineering firms uh, and to hear their thoughts and uh, perspective on how they would approach the master planning work. We arrived at um, consensus in that CS Arch uh, would be a great fit to engage in this work. And uh, with that, I just wanted to step back to see if Sean or Maggie had any other uh, things or thoughts they wanted to share about the process or about the recommendation for this evening. No, I mean, other than to say they were three great candidates mm -hmm. and um, you know, I think there's a lot of great work done by everybody who submitted a proposal and to thank them for the work that they did. And uh, at the end of the day, like you said, I feel really, really strongly about who we've gone with and I think it's a, a great team. Yeah. So uh, at our next board meeting, we actually have a campus master planning uh, overview <laughs> to provide to the board. So we've invited uh, CS Arch back and Tim, I just wanna, uh, I know we reached out to them today to see if they could actually be a part of that presentation as opposed to hearing from me and Tim about it. Why not hear from the, them? And uh, have they indicated they would be able to join us? We've requested that they uh, attend okay. the next board meeting and I'm just waiting on confirmation. Um, so we plan to have them uh, as part of a process upcoming uh, to meet with the board as well and answer any questions that the board may have. Uh, but we feel really good about this. It's a comprehensive plan and uh, of approach uh, for the project. And um, uh, again, wanna thank the committee for their time 
uh, last week in reviewing each of the uh, each of the vendors that came to us. Great, thank you. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Consent agenda personnel. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Um, I just wanted to mention that um, number 11, as we um, appoint our co-curricular position, physical education department chair, you know, we did something similar for the music department uh, recently, a couple years ago, and it's these kind of leadership positions that really help um, each department uh, grow. And uh, so a thank you to um, Mr. Caldiero for stepping into this role. Um, uh, I think it's great. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, unfinished business, the Haldane Central School District calendar for next year, 2022 to 23. Uh, Ms. Platt? Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education hereby adopts the 2022-2023 Haldane School District calendar as presented. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion? I don't think there's any changes from when it was presented um, the first time, a month or so ago. We're not. Okay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Very good. CSE CPSC recommendations. Ms. Platt? Be it resolved that upon the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education hereby approves the recommendation of the Committee on Preschool Special Education and Committee on Special Education as presented. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Uh, going into our policy review, uh, I'll turn it to Ms. Platt. Be it resolved that, upon the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education hereby waives the second readings and adopts the following Haldane Central School District policies, 1410 Policy and Administrative Regulations, 1611 Business of the Annual District Election, and 3220 Use of Assistance Animals. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Um, any discussion? Yeah, Peggy, would you like to? One thing I just noticed, and I apologize if you didn't notice before, the, the versions noted track changes actually don't have track changes in them. <laughs> so I'm so sorry that I didn't check that in advance, but I can tell you there's a couple things I want to point out. The main thing I want to point out and remind you about, about 1410 is that We'd actually already adopted this policy, but we decided to revise it a little bit more to make it so that if they're adding a sentence, if there are really minor changes to a policy that are edits or that don't in any way change the substance of the proposal, we're actually saying, and it's this line, um, it's the third paragraph, editorial and reference changes to policies that do not affect the substance of the policy may be made by the superintendent without any action by the board, but shall be subject to board review, right? So that's, that's what's happening with that policy. Um, and then for the other two policies, it's more along the lines of the kinds of minor changes that we've, you can actually see the changes are very clear in 1320, what we, what we changed. I can't really remember. Oh, and what's, what's, what the, what's different with 1611 is that I think, I, are we just adopting it? I think there's, I, can, I actually can't even remember exactly what that change is. Uh, it was, I think it was about the chairperson. The chairperson. That the chairperson doesn't have to be the board president. That's right. That the that's chairperson. Exactly right. Yes, that's okay. Could that's be right. an appointed yeah. person. So that's, so that's the change, that's the change in that policy. So none of these are, are you know, this is just in line with the, review that we're doing. So that's what's going on there. Um, yes. Great, thank you. And then also we're also instituting our new policy of, of waiving the second reading with right. doing this, yeah. Mm -hmm. The first time where I think we're actually doing this, so that's good. Okay, thank you, Peggy. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, any communication from the public? Any board reflections? 
Dr. Benante, do you have any final thoughts? This would be our quickest meeting on record if we weren't already in executive session, starting at 5.30 <laughs> and now going back into executive session. <laughs> um, okay, great. So then I will make, uh, I'd like to make a motion to return to executive session to discuss our collective bargaining negotiations. Uh, may I have a second, please? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, very good. We will not be coming back. Thank you. Thank you.